Hi Gemini and welcome to November. This is for my Geminis that have their Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus in that specific sign. However, if you're new to the Mother Teresa channel, welcome. And out of curiosity, you just picked this video, you don't know anything about your natal chart, I will leave the link in the description box for you to figure out that information. But do stay and listen to what I have to say because I do believe that there is a message in here for you as well as the cross watchers in the room. I don't know why I felt the need to shuffle again because I've already shuffled your cards for like five minutes. My back is also starting to hurt. So are you guys having like back problems this month? What's going on? Is that where you carry your stress or your tension? First out, you have the Knight of Swords with the Two of Wands. Seeing is believing. Thinking is believing. Okay? Some of you guys might feel like you are know-it-alls, though. Yet and still, there's so much more to be learned in life, okay? After the Knight of Swords came the Two of Wands, the Six of Cups followed that. Coming into the second to third week of November, what you might feel energetically as a blockage, you have the Tower card. Some harsh realities, some harsh truths coming to light. This is learning, being quick on your feet, though, as well, with this Knight of Swords energy that's coming up. I feel like when trouble comes your way, you're very quick with figuring out how to get yourself out of a situation. But with the Six of Cups energy, I do feel like some of you guys, uh, by way of your mouth, have put yourselves in the doghouse with someone that you love and or care about. Yep, because you have the Page of Cups following the Tower with the Six of Swords and the world card. I just did Aquarius' reading and there are some similar cards that have come out, namely the world and the two of wands. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius. An Aquarius might be of great help for you this month or just figuring out um, those placements within your own personal natal chart and what's going on on a planetary level there. Um, any tensions that you might have, like any squares or oppositions that are causing conflict within your um, emotionally charged like relationships. I don't know how to word that, but yeah, coming into the end of the month, what you might be feeling or ways to overcome. You have the two of cups that came out. So two twos, are you seeing two two a lot? talks about positivity, talks about also understanding polarity, which I feel like your sign naturally does. Like you understand the uh, good and the evil. You can't be good without being evil, yin and yang principle, which is also confirmed with the temperance card that came out after the page of pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the six of wands with the nine of wands and eight of swords. Eight of swords is like imaginary, uh, imaginary turmoil like it only exists in the mind so i'm not sure what you could possibly do to get yourself there but know that the energy is there so if you know how to pivot your thoughts you can easily escape that uh coming into the end of the month and going forward but yeah as far as this relationship and where you are within the relationship some of you guys i'm hearing you're gonna have to like face the music some of you guys have been in a relationship that uh, you knew from the beginning wasn't something that could be sustained. Now, if you're not with someone, then this is something that you have done or some work that you have done or some thought that you have been having that's like been old and outdated. It's not something that can sustain you. So why would you continue to hold on to it? In fact, you can't because now the tower is here, which is also um, ruled by Mars. In the major arcana so you might be dealing with a scorpio or with these planets being in scorpio venus specifically retrograde in scorpio right now and i do believe the sun is also in scorpio and neptune's in pisces but i do believe scorpio has one other placement on a planetary level i can't think of it but if so i'll put it on one of these sides right um i feel like that is really causing you to crack open crack open at the seams that's what i'm hearing okay i feel like you guys are not being true 
to yourselves. You guys are telling a whole lot of lies here, potentially maybe to save face or to save somebody's feelings, right? To protect somebody's feelings here with the Six of Cups to maintain harmony or balance in an unemotionally fulfilling situation. I don't know how I meant to say that. Um, if not, a child may be affected by uh, these thoughts that you're having, like you're you're projecting out, right, in anger or out of frustration. It's misdirected energy here with the Two of Wands um, that has hurt someone's feelings. Potentially this child's feelings. You keep telling them you guys are going to be spending quality time together and it's like they wait for you and you don't ever come. And so it's causing them to look at themselves like this and feel like they're not enough if there's a child involved. But if not, and you're in this situation as an adult, then somebody's done this to you and you're like having to self-reflect like, damn, like if this person really cared about me, they'd show me. Why would I continue to wait around if I'm not being appreciated, you know? If not, again, this is going back to a rocky foundation that cannot be sustained as far as a relationship. And it's like, you got to be honest with yourself, man. Like, how much more of this can you take? It doesn't seem like you can take much more because in your mind, you're really thinking of, you know, freeing yourself and finding an escape. Now, you have to be careful with that, that in your mind that you don't try to idealistically escape into another or another world kind of like daydreaming that's kind of what i'm getting here because you would rather be somewhere else and you get lost in the idea that things can pick up and or be better like you're kind of trying to trick yourself into believing something that's again farce like it's false like you can't fake the funk any longer okay so for some of you guys a breakup is on the table because the world card is all about an ending. But with an ending comes a new beginning. I feel like I kind of want to talk about, although Will Smith is a Libra, okay, he is still an air sign. So your counterpart, I saw a video of him and Jada, and he was talking about how all along he knew he really wanted to be with Jada. But initially, when he went to one of her uh, shows, one of her tapings, he went with the intention to be introduced to his now wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, however, he met up with somebody else called Cherie, which was his first wife. He wound up getting married to her. Okay, but in the marriage, he knew that that wasn't his soulmate. You know, his soul wasn't happy. She wasn't happy within the marriage, but he didn't believe in getting a divorce you know he was just going to see it through he said that on a date that him and Sheree went out on that he excused himself and went to the restroom and cried you know and had a release because it was like he knew Jada was the one but not too long after that his ex-wife Sheree uh, wanted to file for divorce and at first he fought wanting to get the divorce but she was like so you would keep somebody in a marriage knowing that they are no longer in love with you and knowing that they are no longer happy. And so they went through with the divorce and then as soon as he signed the divorce papers, he said that he called Jada up and was like, hey, you know, are you seeing someone? She said, no. And he was like, well, you're seeing me now. And she was like, okay. I feel like that's what that's talking about here with this two of cups. If you know you're in a situation that's just not working out despite all of your efforts, then maybe it's time that you guys do go your separate ways with this Six of Cups, with this Tower card, and with the Page of Cups. You do the healing necessary to get right within again with yourself. Uh, do some self-love rituals. Take some definitely spiritual baths. Um, definitely clear your mind make sure that your mind is right but with doing that and taking those necessary steps and getting away from what you know has been causing you uh, just great mental conflict and internal conflict right 
you're able to open the portal up with this world card because with every ending comes a new beginning and attract uh, a deeper, better love. Something that is more honest, more true to self here with this temperance card. Also something that is more balanced. You might uh, be meeting a Sagittarius. And I know that Sagittarius and Geminis are like typically very, very compatible provided that both of you guys are mature enough. I do want to say everything in moderation, so watch your drinking, uh, but kind of like wean yourself off of any habits that you are trying to change, you know, don't go full force and run head first and run into a wall by doing that because you're trying to move so fast and seeing um, rapid changes, okay? So if you want to start eating healthier, for an example, don't just throw all of your food away and then go and buy, you know, six boxes of oatmeal, a thing of orange juice, and a pack of eggs. You will starve. That's not meal prepping. That's not smart to do, you know. Okay, if you're used to eating, like, all junk food, then instead of seven days a week, take it down to five. And then those other two days, you can kind of cook up meals and figure out what you like and what you don't like. Play with different ingredients, different spices, and see how you can change things up uh, to where it's still is something that is tasteful for you where you enjoy eating your food you know what I mean and then from the five days then go down to three and then go down to one day a week where maybe you're eating junk food and then the other six you're healthy until you can fully cut yourself off same thing with drinking some of you guys might be wanting to work on your spirituality and spiritual practices here uh, being more serious about your spirituality and wanting to invite that into your life So yeah, that's on the table for you guys also with this temperance card I do want you guys to know that on the 11th or around the 11th Jupiter is um, going to return to or the sign of Sagittarius will be back in Jupiter Lord help me with these words solar return for a lot of people which means uh, lighter energy which means more universal love coming in which means um, higher learning um, more interest in maybe like research or further studies um, continued education here with this page of Pentacles so that you can learn more skills to maybe help an existing business or to build a new business so that you can have uh, continual streams of income income sorry but yeah career will be highlighted when Jupiter goes into Sagittarius luck in matters of career and or your finances uh, being able to be more abundant and find more opportunities that is on the horizon with Jupiter and Sag so just be on the lookout for that I also noticed that two sixes are here the two twos and the two sixes and we also have two pages a lot of repeating um, cards a lot of repeating energy or like mirroring energy is going on here so look into numerology what twos mean again also positivity coming back into your life knowing that you are on the right path essentially there is no wrong path a lesson in everything okay so with the sixes it's like uh, wanting to have harmony or trying to find or regain your power or regain a peace of mind and our harmony after being um, uh, through brought through the ringer in a sense here that's coming up so you're finding that again or needing to find that balance again with the sixes and then with the pages it's just immature energy that needs to uh, be protected and cultivated so that it can mature into something that is uh, more positive should you see it that way right because nothing everything is really ambivalent energy it's good bad or otherwise just depends on what you do with it this month right there's free will in all of this and I also get that here so you have the freedom to choose what you want to do with the energy that surrounds you okay so as far as your chakras are concerned all of them are here and I always say that especially when I see the temperance card balance all of them okay if you want to book a personal reading with me you can do so right here 
hit me up in my email but at this time give me a thumbs up if this resonated for you share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more